Right now we are going to make candles so I just wanted you guys to come along and hang out with me. So I'm using glue dots on the bottom of my wick. These are the wicks that I purchased. I purchased them from Amazon. I'm placing the glue dot on the bottom of the wick and then we're going to stick inside of the candle tin so that when you begin to pour your wax that your your candle wick doesn't come up also a good thing that I learned by watching YouTube videos is to use a clothespin to secure your wick in place so that helps as well when you're pouring your wax where it doesn't move beeswax I also ordered this from Amazon I have not used soy wax yet um, I would like to see a difference in how it burns but I use my um, food scale to weigh my wax so it's one pound I think I went a little bit over but I got the wax I needed maybe a half a pot of water to start boiling so it takes a little while to get that pound of wax to melt down but you just kind of wait the process out you don't stir it often
So the recipe also calls for a half a cup of coconut oil. The coconut oil helps your wax go a little bit longer when you're burning your candle. So it's a half a cup to one pound of wax. And then we'll add some fragrance. I have a fragrance that we'll add in as well. So that's all the supplies that you need for the actual candle. getting easier to move around as it melts so you can tell because we weren't able to move it a little while ago so you just have to wait it out I'm using a wooden skewer to manipulate my wax. I don't want to use a spoon because it scrapes the sides of the container and I don't want to do that. I also don't have a wooden spoon that I would designate right now for this. So, because it's not something I do often enough to have a spoon dedicated for it. So I'll keep using the skewer.
now I'm going to trim the wicks. I'm not going to trim them all the way down because I haven't poured my candle yet. But I'm going to trim it enough to where I don't have excess wick on the candle. So I've added the coconut oil and the fragrance. So we're just waiting on it to just all melt. So, and then we'll pour the candle. Now pouring the candles for me can get a little bit messy. What I failed to do this particular time was to put, I usually put like wax paper up under it so that it won't leak all on my table or my surface or whatever, but it happens. So now we're gonna let them cool and let them set. We won't do anything to them for at least 24 to 48 hours so that we'll make sure they have a really good burn when they do start to burn. I just wanna take the time to tell you thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on my next video.